Hey guys, I just wanted to sit down and record something real quick. This is a really short video, uh, uh, just a short clip that's going to go before this battle. Um, however, the uh, the opponent that I have in this battle uh, does forfeit very close to the end. Sorry for the spoilers, but uh, I'm actually going to keep this battle and upload it anyways. Um, I really like how I played. Um, this is in no way to be insulting to my opponent for quitting. Um, however, I just there's just something about this battle and the way I played with this team that just made me feel like I really wanted to keep it. Like I said, this is no insult to my opponent whatsoever. Um, I'm not uploading this to show like, haha, this person's bad, I made them quit. This is just really to show how, um, how I just feel like this is, like I said, probably one of the best battles I've ever played. Uh, you'll see that in a couple places in the match. But like I said, I just wanted to record this real quick and just say that this is not being uploaded to uh, insult my opponent in any way, shape, or form. I just wanted to um, just kind of throw this out there. So, um, yeah. Uh, so, I do hope you guys enjoy this battle. See ya. Hey, what's going on, guys? Today, I'm bringing with me a very special team. Um, I know I said I had a plan based around one last week. Um, today, I'm bringing with me a Chandelure, Agron, Mega Agron, actually, Alkazam, Pangoro, Sylveon, and a Dragonite. Um, so right now I think my best lead is going to be Mega Aggron just so I can get rocks up. Um, my opponent is bringing with them a Keldeo, uh, probably a Mega Pidgeot, a Avalug, Bisharp, a uh, Mew, and a Landorus Therian form. So, pretty good team matchup for ours. Um, not really, uh, 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 see that's the problem. Um, a lot of his team, uh, Really, I wanted to make Pangoro the star of this team. Um, unfortunately, though, I think the way things are looking, uh, probably Dragonite's going to be a better fit. So uh, we'll just have to see how this goes. I've been playing a lot of Devil May Cry 4. Uh, but apparently, they did a, a special edition release for it for the, uh, the Xbox One and probably the PS4. I, I honestly don't know for the PS4. But I played a lot of freaking... Um, a lot of Devil May Cry 4 for the uh, 360, so it's good to see this game back, and it runs a lot smoother. That's really the only improvement. But yeah, uh, that and Fallout 4 are taking up a lot of my free time. I do, however, have a new job. Um, only 30 hours a week. It's not going to be as intensive as the other one. So that's something I'm looking forward to. And so the battle's going to get underway, and I'm sorry you all just saw me again. Partially, what the world, what am I doing? It's like I don't do this on a weekly basis. Okay, so let's see what my opponent leads off with. Um, we're just going to Mega Evolve right away, um, and probably just rocks. Oh, goodness. I do not know what to do with this. Um, probably best just to... Uh, gosh, I am just going to Mega Evolve. And I'm... Yeah, I'm just going to Mega Evolve and rocks. I mean, he can do a lot of damage to me right away. Um, but I'm not too concerned, to be quite honest. Um, so we're just going to see how this goes. That's the only sucky part. Um, I'm not really sure how this is going to go. Yeah, I've, as you see, my amount of eggs over the past couple weeks has gradually increased by a lot. Um, I have been doing a lot of IV breeding and stuff like that. And as you can see, I went to 34 straight Mason wins. Uh, that was just actually ruined about 20 minutes ago. Uh by a extreme speed uh, Lucario. That really sucked. Um, all because I'd, I'd come back from a... I put it on break and came back and it just kind of didn't go over well. <laughs> uh, my opponent is taking the uh, whole battle timer, it seems. And I'm going to Mega Evolve right away and we're going to see how this goes. Uh, Agron's going to hopefully set up rocks. He's going to set up Scald. That's good for us. We are, um, we are Filter now. And I don't think Steel is weak to um, the uh, Scald. So we are just going to go ahead, and I'm going to Heavy Slam. I know it's resisted by the Fighting type. Uh, however, I am way heavier than this thing. So uh, I am interested to see how much this ends up doing. Um, maybe he'll switch out right now. Uh, I'm not really 100% sure. I really hope so, but if that's not the case, that's okay with me. Um, I can... Oh, yep, they're going to switch out. What are they going to go into? Oh gosh, is this the Landers? No, this is the Mew. So uh, Mew's going to take Stealth Rocks, probably a uh, Defogger, which that's okay. And we are going to do a lot of damage to this thing, luckily. Uh, we're going to see its leftovers, and I'm probably just going to Heavy Slam again. Um, pro oh, sorry, you just saw my styles again. 
I'm probably going to defog here. Probably going to outspeed me. Oh, no, he's going to willow with me. Oh, misses the willow. Oh, that is so good. That is such a big deal that mattered. Oh, ho, ho. unfortunately, they're going to go down. There goes their defogger. I am feeling good about this battle now. Wow. Um, I know I haven't done a live battle in a while, but I just kind of, I really wanted to do that with this battle and this team since it's just so different and new. Because, um, I mean, I've used almost all these Pokemon in the past, but I, I still just like this one a lot. Going to bring in the Avalug. Very interesting. Takes a lot of rocks damage and is absolutely going to get decimated by this heavy slam. Uh, I should outspeed. Uh, so this is just going to do a ton of damage. And if uh, if we go down, um, that's not really a big deal. Uh, I have a lot of Pokemon that are... Um, oh, wow. That does jack. Are going to see the Rapid Spin. That is really unfortunate. But that's not going to do anything to Agron and... Uh, Hopefully we can get something decent going here. Oh gosh, that that um that heavy slam did absolutely nothing. That sucks. I'm just gonna EQ. Um, no reason not to. Um, nothing on his team resists uh, except for the Landorus, which is Therian. But that's not really big, that big of a deal. Um, I'm just gonna EQ away. Uh, just kind of testing what all moves uh, do what damage, and it nothing does any damage to this thing at all. Wow. Um. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to rocks again, and then we're going to straight go out into Chandelure. Um, maybe the rocks will scare him into rapid spinning, and we just spin block away. And luckily, since my Chandelure is fast as heck, uh, we'll be able to get a um, get a flamethrower off. So we're going to rock away, uh, get rocks back up, which is good. Um, we really need them if we're going to win. Uh, he does go for the avalanche, uh, but now that rocks are up, hopefully he does go for the rapid spin. And we're just going to bring in the spin blocker and be able to hopefully do a lot of damage to this thing. Um, my opponent does not have rocks up, uh, so Chandelure has no problem coming in a couple times if need be. And we're just going to switch straight out, go into uh, Chandelure, and hopefully be able to uh, block this incoming rapid spin. So that'd be that'd be great. And uh, going to air balloon, block it with the uh, the air balloon or the ghost type, which is awesome. And we're just going to be able to fire off a, uh, let's just flamethrower away. Uh, nothing is stopping us. Uh, nothing on his team really resists the flamethrower, which is great. Um, I could have, honestly, probably, I didn't necessarily want to fire off a Will-O-Wisp, just because of the fact that, um, actually, nothing, considering the fact that this one isn't scarfed like I normally like to run, don't think that really matters, but I've already uh, I've already selected my move. Going for the flamethrower. I don't think anything is on his team is gonna like to take a modest uh, flamethrower from a chandelier of all Pokemon. So that's okay with me. Um, sorry, I need a drink real quick. And my opponent, like I said, is taking the entire battle timer, which sucks for us. But at the same time, um, it just gives me more time to talk through why I pick the moves that I do. And uh, that's really not that big of an issue, but I know I know you guys don't really care. Uh, it's just fun anyways. So we're going to switch out of the Avalog, uh, which is cool. Um, probably going to... Ooh. Oh, that, that is, move is too perfect. Um, just too good, too good, too good. Should have gone for the f uh, Willow right there. Hopefully we'll get a burn. Wow, that actually does a lot of damage. Um, I'm, I'm really impressed by that. Um, let's go into... Uh, let's go into Sylveon here and see if we can get something going. Uh, we know my opponent, um, can't spin block right now. Uh, probably was going to come in and go for the Scald, so we're going to bring in Sylveon and see, uh, what it can get done. Uh, and again, my opponent is taking the entire freaking battle timer. And luckily, good thing about bringing Sylveon in is the fact that, uh, it resists the fighting type. Uh, it is, f I think this is my specially defensive wall, so that's cool. Um, yeah, my core right now is the defensive Agron, which has done really well taking pretty much everything that the, uh, that the Avalog had to throw at it, um, even Rapid Spin did, like, three each time, so that's not really that big of a deal. Um, Caldeo is gonna Scald, however, uh, and we should be able to take that fairly well, which we do. Uh, unfortunately, we do get the burn, that, that's rather unfortunate, but, um, I'm almost half tempted to set up, uh, I have no reason not to, um, I almost have no reason not to go for the Calm Mind here. Um, or do I go for the Psy Shock? Uh, I'm going to Calm Mind. 
Um, I don't know what my opponent's going to do. I'm probably going to go out into the... Um, what is that thing called? The buy sharp. Uh, especially on me bringing this thing in. But if that's the case... Actually, eh, that was probably the worst move I could possibly go for, the Calm Mind. But, um, like I said, this is especially defensive wall, which should buy us a little bit of time. Um, uh, at least get something figured out. Uh, this battle is actually really even right now. Uh, actually, I have I have the one-up advantage, but at the same time, uh, not really that big of a deal. Probably going into the buy sharp here. Um, yeah, I'm going to assume with that nickname, it is the buy sharp. So that's not that big of a deal. Going to take rocks damage, and I'm going to set up a calm mind. Uh, probably the worst thing I could do, but um, nothing else I could do really uh, is going to do much to this thing. So what I am tempted to do, however, is go double back out into the um, Agron just to see what um, what we can draw out with it. That stupid Avalug, though, was such a threat. Um, unfortunately for my opponent, actually, concerned the fact that the Iron Head is incoming. Uh, we, we just know that Iron Head is coming, unless this thing's going to try to pursue me. Um, I am going to go out actually into Dragonite. Um, just feel like that's a good choice. Uh, feel like it's a good play. Um, hopefully we're going to... If if you guys have watched any of my videos for like as long as I've done these things, you know exactly what freaking Dragonite this is. You guys know what's about to happen. And look, there's my pencil. Sorry about that. Uh, I was completely just spaced as I was doing that. Uh, yeah, but if you've seen me ever play Pokemon and know what I do... Uh, you know what this Dragonite's for. Uh, so yeah, he's going to switch out into the um, the freaking Avalon. Going to take rock damage again, which is great as we go for the Dragon Dance. My opponent messed up big time um, doing that. That's really unfortunate for him. Um, hopefully this Dragon Dance um, will be... Uh, the Dragon Dance uh, Fire Punch will be enough to uh, one a KO this thing. If not... Um, we should be able to live, um, one avalanche, uh, since we are Marvel scale, uh, so that's, that's pretty okay. But after the D-Dance, this Fire Punch should do a decent lot of damage. Uh, hopefully it's a KO. Please be a KO. Please be a KO. Please, please, please. Nope, that's okay. Um, this is gonna go- Oh! Avoid the Toxic! Yes! Oh, that was so clutch. I am so sorry my opponent has missed- so many freaking uh, status moves. However, you did get the burn on the Scald earlier, which is a 30% chance, which I think that was the second Scald that he fired off for the match. So that's okay with me. Uh, Dragon uh, Dragonite should be able to fire punch uh, whatever comes in and just do a decent lot to it. Um, should have gone for the Avalanche. He really should have, because now I'm in perfect position just to uh, hopefully take over from here. Wow, this is a freaking long battle. Uh, I am sorry for this. It's because my opponent's taking forever in a day. Fire Punch is going to take this Avalog out, and we are sitting good with a setup Dragonite. I am so stoked for this. Uh, like I said, if you guys have ever seen anything I've done, you know uh, you know what Dragonite I like to run. And nothing has changed over the years. Um, unfortunately, he's going to bring out the Landorus. Uh, we are going to get intimidated, and I am, however, going to just outrage away. Uh, we do outspeed. I have no reason not to. I'm not afraid of this thing. Um, even if it does get taken out, um, I have... Uh, I think my Pangora can outspeed this thing. My Pangora actually is Scarfed. Um, doubt it really outspeeds this thing, but uh, I brought the Scrappy one with me this week, which is very interesting. Uh, I, I've always wanted to try Scrappy Pangora, uh, just because it's one of my favorite Pokemon, and... Uh, I know I said that about a lot of different ones, but honestly, once it was introduced, I thought that is so cool. And so I figured I'd bring it and uh, hopefully I get to use it this battle. Um, it's unfortunate that uh, last week the uh, Mega Sceptile, I think it was last week was the Mega Sceptile, but it didn't get much use, even though it was supposed to be the star of the team. Uh, Knockoff is going to get rid of my Lumberry, which is rather unfortunate, uh, but this thing is set to just outrage away and uh, hopefully this does a lot of damage. And it's going to be a 2 KO, which I'm okay with, so... Whatever he decides to go with here is fine with me. Um, even if he switches out into the buy sharp, um, should be able to. Uh, hopefully, this is a short outrage, and I can just uh, do some work with it to uh, with a flamethrower or fire punch. Sorry about that. 
So Chaos Fury is going to come back in and take Stealth Rock again, and we're going to outrage away. So hopefully this does some decent damage. Uh, Dragonite's just kind of doing all kinds of work right now. So uh, we're going to get one more turn of Outrage, and this thing is going to be at fairly low health uh, by the time Dragonite is done uh, losing its crap. So I'm I'm really good with how this battle's kind of turned. Um, I have This is probably actually one of my best played battles in the history of playing Pokemon. Uh, I, I just feel like I'm making all the good plays, all the right plays, and I feel like everything is just kind of going well in our favor. Um, it's really good that that Avalon gets out of the way. Um, it's good that... Uh, Everything on his team is fairly low health now, uh, minus the Pidgeot, which probably is the biggest uh, fear on our team. This Sucker Punch should not do a whole lot. Wow, that did a lot of damage. But uh, this Dragon, uh, this Outrage, should take it out. No, I was wrong. And that's going to be the end of that. So uh, he's just going to Sucker Punch again. Uh, we're probably going to go down, and I'm just going to Fire Punch away. Crap, should hit, oh, I should hit Extreme Speed. Oh no! Oh, we! Oh, he wasn't going for sucker punch. That would have knocked me out. Oh man, my opponent is making the wrong moves. It is going so well for us right now. This is ridiculous, guys. This is this is insane. I cannot believe what is happening right now. When we are playing so freaking well, uh, my opponent is just getting absolutely screwed over. Unfortunately, um, so let's bring in. Let's see what he brings in now, and we're just going to go from there, because this is this is awesome. I'm so happy with this. Uh, this is probably, like I said, the best I've ever played, and if you guys are experiencing this with me, then holy crap, this is this is a long battle, but it is, it is so cool. I'm having so much fun with this. This is why I play Pokemon. Uh, the unfortunate part is my, uh, my 3D, or not my 3DS, my camera that I'm using to record this is already halfway through a, its a memory for this battle, so that sucks. Um... So we're just going to have to see how this goes. Uh, hopefully my opponent decides to make moves quick. Uh, if not, it's not too big of a deal. Um, I'm not too concerned. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is just going so well right now in our favor. And I am not even mad. Uh, we're 15 minutes deep. Uh, yeah, or, or it's gonna, we're going to call it 15 minutes deep. And my opponent is going to bring in the Keldeo, which is fine with me. Um, it's going to take rocks again. Uh, it's really unfortunate that my opponent wasn't able to get rid of the rocks and... Uh, I'm just going to click Outrage again. I have no reason not to. Uh, we are faster, uh, no matter what, because we do have the uh, the Dragon Dance boost. Unless this thing is Scarfed. Um, if this thing is Scarfed, I'm not. I'm still not too concerned. Uh, we are confused, however, and let's see if we can break through. Breakthrough again. Dragonite is just taking names today, and I have no problem with that whatsoever. Uh, we're just going to wipe the field with this Dragonite, and he is just... He is not happy, he is angry, and that's why he's outraging all over the place, and is going to come in with the uh, Intimidate again, so Dragonite's sitting really bad position, low HP, low attack, and uh, he's still just so mad, and we see a forfeit. Crap. Um, I'm just going to keep that anyways. Um, my opponent lost. Uh, I played really well, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. That's unfortunate that it was a forfeit, um, but... Uh, I, there's nothing really that can be done about it. So that's going to be the end of this battle. I hope you guys do appreciate it. I will see you next week more. Uh, actually, probably I might upload on Thanksgiving. We'll just have to see. So thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. I will see you later. Bye, guys.